Cassie Opo, and I am a senior growth strategist at Influence. And today I'm going to be giving you uh, a few tips um, now that several of us are joining meetings virtually or remotely, it's even more important now that we are ready and prepared for meetings. So today I'll be telling you uh, about some of the tips and tricks that I use to make sure that I'm organized and efficient with my meetings. Um, so first of all, you want to make sure you come prepared. So a lot of the times as the owner of the meeting, I make sure that I send out some um, reading material uh, you know, a couple days prior to the actual meeting and ask that the team reviews that information prior to. Um, and then as obviously an attendee, you'd want to make sure that you did your homework before you arrive. Um, second, show up on time. So I know that there's a ton of virtual glitches that are happening these days. One person's on Zoom, another person's on GoToMeeting or Google Chat. Um, at the end of the day, you are going to have an issue, so you might as well just join a few minutes early so that you're not late. Um, next, go ahead and make introductions. So right now, some people are joining via their face, some people are joining by phone, um, sometimes you don't know who caller one or two on the line is, so make sure you open up your phone call by introducing everybody that's on the line um, so that you guys have uh, clarity on attendees. Um, and also that gives you clarity when you guys are outlining kind of action items and next steps and also roles and responsibilities throughout the call. Um, so next is set expectations. So usually an agenda can do this um, by outlining kind of, hey, the intent of today's meeting is to gain alignment or we're going to have a brainstorming session and these are the five items on the agenda that we'll be talking through. Um, those types of things can make sure everybody's on the same page. Some people learn much better when they know exactly what's happening next. I'm one of those people. If you give me an agenda, I feel like I can be aligned with everybody. If I don't know what's happening next um, during a meeting, I can kind of drift away because I don't know when I will uh, need to be chiming in next. Um, so after the agenda, obviously sticking to that agenda. So if you took the time to make that plan, please go ahead and follow it. So if the meeting's 50 minutes, stick to 50 minutes. Make sure that you leave that last 10 to 15 minutes for, for a wrap up. Um, and so that is uh, one of the last steps is making sure that at the close of that meeting, you outline clearly the action items and anything that was an action item during the meeting, uh, you guys should make sure that it has an assigned uh, responsible party. So who is the owner of that task and also a due date so that you can hold that individual responsible. And last but not least, please send out some recap notes. So I've been to several meetings where there's 10 people on the call, there's no notes. And so, you know, a week goes by and nobody can remember exactly what was said on that call. Um, so you don't want to waste your time. You want to be efficient. You want to make sure that, especially if you're homeschooling your kids now, that you, uh, you know, are finding every extra second in your day that you possibly can. So make sure you've got those notes wrapped up. Make sure you kind of define that uh, meeting note taker at the beginning of your, of your meeting. So hopefully those tips help and good luck with your next meeting.